business. It would be too bad. In the morning, we have a Zoom. So that means even if you are early, an early bird, you reach, for example, you go late at work, or maybe you are having uh, afternoon session at your work, you can be able to attend the morning session. You can be able to attend the 10 a.m. session. You are at office. By 10 a.m., you are not so busy. It's break time. You can come in the Zoom and learn something. Then we have the the uh, uh, we have the, the the noon Zoom. This afternoon Zoom. It's also here for us to learn. So we want by the time the bull run comes, when we know what we are doing. Okay. In any business, if you want to be successful, you must be knowing what you are doing. You must be knowledgeable about the business you are doing. Very knowledgeable, okay? Any business, even if you are doing poultry business. Eh? You know, uh, um, my destination, I think it will be farming. I love farming, but I have never done it before. I've never been near to someone who does it. But you know what, sir? The moment I start doing it, I got to first go to school. I don't mean the high school. I got to first learn someone who, who find out someone who's doing it and I learn from them. That's what we call school. Learning. So this, these zooms you are seeing here are meant to sharpen us, are meant to teach us some skills we don't know. Okay. So we decided to have robotic settings. Uh, uh, or royal Q, uh, royal Q trainings. Okay, this application you are having in your phone, it's really so wide. It has a lot of information. It has a lot of options. It's all. It has a lot of things. So we have to learn it. How to operate it? Our robot is there to make money for us. Eh? Our robot is there to make money for us, but. People don't know how to use it. People don't know how to operate it. People are blaming it. When the market crashes, people blame the robot. When they have little capital, people blame the robot. Eh? Someone is trading with $30 and they are in floating loss. They're like, this robot it doesn't make money. Take all I need $30 is their capital. Someone is trading with $100 only. They enter the market market with all of their money and then boom the market crashes 10 percent like this robot is not working now for days i'm making zero money okay i made some money yesterday but it was so so little it was at 0 0.1 dollar no 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 the reason is simple they don't know how to use their robot so if you learn you're going to make crazy money. If you learn, you're going to make crazy, crazy, crazy money. Okay. Uh, um, first of all, today in my introduction, I'm going to start with, uh, with, with something you've been hearing for a long time. Every leader who comes on and they are teaching us, they are teaching us the, the, this business, they are mentoring us. There is something they always talk about, which we have not yet mastered. Some of us, we, we, we are not yet understanding what is that really for sure. Every leader is talking about the bull run. <laughs> Every leader is talking about the bull, the bull run. But we are not understanding what is a bull run. What is this all about? What are they talking about for sure? Bull run, what is bull run? Okay. And uh, uh, my dear friend who's listening to this Zoom, one of the things you should be preparing for is the bull run. You should be preparing for a bull run. I was talking to one of my leaders. Uh, one of my friends is a very great leader in the business. He told me, Sam, I know what's up. We need to work very hard. Let's look for capital. That was his statement. But the gentleman who was saying that he has made over 300 million in the business. It was like, we need to work very hard and look for capital. Someone is out there, is having only $100 as their capital, and they are content. <laughs> they are okay. If you ask them how much money do you have, $100. Come on. <laughs> eh? Come on. You don't know what you're doing. 
someone who has made 300 million plus in the business is saying, I'm looking for capital. I'm looking for more money. For me, Usama Kainda in the corner with my $50 as my trading capital, I'm very okay. I'm in a comfort zone. I've made it in life with my $50 as my trading capital. Hey, that's wrong. That's very wrong, my brothers and sisters. So if you are really into this business and you are doing a business, hey, grow your capital. Okay? Grow your grow your capital. Um, let's first talk about the bull run before we go further into our training. What's a bull run? A bull run is the time when the market goes up generally. Hmm? Uh, I want you to look at this. This is one of the screenshots I want you to look at. Um, this is a table. It it organized, uh, you, you know, it organized the history and the future of crypto, depending on Bitcoin. Bitcoin was the first cryptocurrency in the world, and it's the mother of all cryptos. All cryptos follow Bitcoin. When Bitcoin goes down, all coins go down. Maybe Acro. <laughs> These days, Acro has, has been defiant. <laughs> Bitcoin is going down, Acro is going up. Now, Bitcoin is going up, Acro is going down. It's like Acro is the opposition of crypto. I'm joking. Look at this table. In 2011, 2014, 2018, 2022, last year, all those years were bearish. All of these years were bearish. All those years. 2011, 2014, 2018, 2020, 2022. But I want you to look at this. The following year, in most cases, after those years, the market went up. Let me get a pointer here. By the way, in most cases, when I get a pointer, my screen gets, gets off. In the case it does it, someone unmute yourself and you tell me. Yesterday, people did a disservice to me. They kept quiet. Eh? People kept quiet when the, when the screen was off. They were in the messages. They, they were busy in the chat. Hey, the screen is off. I can't hear messages. I see them. So if it happens again, please just notify me the audio. Look here. Friends, why am I telling you we should look for capital? These days, I'm not buying anything. I'm buying crypto. And you should do the same. It will be really very embarrassing if you are doing work, you understood the business, you are a very great person, you are doing crypto, You are, and we are finding you buying cows. I'm not saying buying a cow is bad, not at all. But crypto is going up. Why are you wasting money? We are finding you buying land in a certain swamp somewhere. You are busy, busy with surveyors. Hey, you didn't understand this business. You don't know what you're doing. You had to buy land last year in a bearish market, not this year when the bull run has started. That 10 millions, you are buying land. To make it sit there, you don't know what it can do next year when you buy a certain coin. Am I communicating? Look here. Look at 2011. 2011, most of us were still in school. Few of you on this Zoom were out of school by then. Of course, when we are at school, uh, we are not accessing the internet so much. So very many things are happening and we didn't know. So we didn't know crypto, most of us. And our 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 parents, they hate the internet. 
they were busy at their jobs. <laughs> they missed an opportunity. Look, the following year, the other year, and the next year, what happened? The market went up. One bearish market, three bullish market. Bear means the market is going down, down. Bull means the market goes up. Have you seen that? 2012, 2012, uh, 2012. And then 2013, up 2013, the market went up. Now let's look at this. 2014, the market went down. And this is what happens. When the market goes up, what happens? It must go down. For me, when I joined Royal Q business, I didn't have any information about crypto. And this is what happened. In 2021, I joined the business in August. It was a bullish time. By then, let me tell you, friends, who are, who are trading and you are in floating loss, come on, don't cry. You, you learn the business. Look for capital. Do you know what's up? By the time for me, I joined the business. We didn't know anything. Even if setting the robot, nothing. You enter, you put capital when you bind in. After that, you put in a trade, you give it 10%, you start the robot. And it was delivering. Most of the coins were even in cycle. You were like, hey, this ship is doing it. By the way, ship by then, it was a bay. <laughs> it was ship bay. Ship was doing it. August, September, October, SHIB. My goodness. You put SHIB in, in cycle, you can't sleep. It, it could deliver every day. I had a lady, she was in Saudi Arabia. She joined the business uh, in September. The lady made money. In just a period of September, October, November, she had made 4 a.m as trading profits. So you just put the capital, you just put, 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 you just put your trades and they deliver. Why? The market was going up. Do you know what's up? The following year, the market was going down. We didn't know. We didn't. Bitcoin was at 69,000. By December, it went down. January, down. Feb, down. March, down. I think March, that's when the, the war in Ukraine started. Huh? The market crashed. Actually, every market crashed. Even stocks, what? All markets crashed. May, June, July. Huh? I don't want to remember that. Saga, Florida. The market was crazy. Because people who knew it, they knew it. They knew it. So for them, when the year ended, they removed the diamond. For us, we didn't. So that's why I'm saying information is key. Information is key. People got crazy rich in that bull run. And they are prepared. And by the way, they, were pre they are preparing this year. People are investing in crypto. For so you are there, eating your money. For so you are there, not doing any investments in the crypto world. You are doing a disservice to yourself for sure. So look at this here. 2015, the market started going up. Free bull. Free bull means the market is not going so up and it's not going so down. Look at this here. Uh, we entered it this year when Bitcoin was at 16,000. It went up to 30,000. Now it's back to 25,000. Now to 27,000. So you are saying that Bitcoin is not going down like where it was at 16,000, but it's not going so up. So it's a, a pre bull. Eh? They are preparing, and we are expecting that this coming bull run, it's going to be massive. Do you know why? Because corporations or corporations, big companies are involved. You know, these, these last bull runs here, they were only human, they were only individuals who were investing in the business. Because companies were not, they were, they were not believing in it yet. News, they were against Bitcoin. Today in the morning, I was watching CNBC, I think it's an American media company. It was talking about the, the, the next bull run. Can you imagine? It's CNBC. 
it's like you are on, on NBS and then they are talking about the next bull run. They are telling people, they are telling you. By then it wasn't the case. So but this time round, Gogo in December bought a coin called Solana worth millions of dollars. They, they invested. Kakati Gogo, the Gogo you are having in your phone is investing in Solana. What are you doing? BlackRock, one of the biggest investment companies in the world, is asking for approval for ETFs of crypto. And, then, and I think the next bull run is going to be so big. So friends, let's prepare ourselves. Let's, let's tighten our seat belts. Let's look for money. Or we'll box together for us. We put capital on our Binances. You must have good cash on your Binance. You prepare. Don't let this car floating loss scare you. You know, some people are so, are so weak. 10% in negative, they are discouraged. They, they withdraw their money in loss. Can you imagine? What are you doing? I saw someone withdrawing money in loss and then the coin went up after four days. Which went up and even close to the, the average price he had bought the coin. And you were like, now what, what, what were you doing? And do you know what's up? Someone yes. withdraws the money and they're not going to use it. They put it in the bank. And you were like, what is this person doing? You withdraw the money, you are not using it, and then you put it in the bank to sleep. Why didn't you leave it to sleep in the floating loss? When time comes, the coin goes up and your money is back. Come on. But of course, these are the things we are going to be learning as we are. We are in these trainings. So look, 2016, 2017, it was a bull run. Then 2018, the market dropped. Okay? Now, this was the, next, the, 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 the previous bull run. 2019, 2020, 2021. Three bull run, first bull run, second bull run. We are having two years ahead for good bull runs. 2024, 2025. Are you ready? Guys, our lives are going to change completely. Are you ready? Our lives are going to change. We are going to make crazy money. We are going to achieve our dreams. We are going to make, we are going to buy assets. Just do one thing. Make you don't make your head of information. You must be informed, be related to crypto stuff, be near your leaders, be near your mentors, learn a lot of things, build your team, good build your capital. Go sirikeveche. Our time is coming. So the next bull run, of course, this year, 2022, was a bearish market. It was bearish. For me, I was in business and I was new. I knew how that year was moving for sure. It was really tough. <laughs> it was really tough. Let me tell you. There is a coin. Mm, let's look it from, from, from Royal Q here. This coin called Solana. Hmm? Look at Sol. Uh, let's check one week. I want you to look at this coin. So that you could understand what I'm talking about. This is the movement of this coin. In 2021, are you seeing? 2021, Solana was at $259. It went up. From one dollar the, the, the previous year, in COVID-19, the coin was at one dollar. In, in the bull run, it went up to $259. So that means if someone had invested in one dollar, just they could get one million shillings from that coin. You get the point, yeah? You get the point. Now, look, the following year, 2022, the coin went down from $259. Look to this. $259 to this. It went to $190. Up to... <laughs> Let me see. It's all-time low. It's all-time low as it went up to eight dollars it went up to eight dollars 
Can you imagine a coin to go from 259 up to $8? That was a bearish market. When you look at where it went to $8, that is 2022. It's the one I'm talking about that was last year. How would you feel? If you were trading that coin on your robot, it would have been 100%. It would have been 100% negative. 100% negative. You get the point. Hey, and you know what's up? Solana is coming back. Now it almost, is, I think it's at $20 plus. It's at $20. Almost $19.70. And one day you're going to look at it when it's at $300. So that's how the market moves. So you must understand these things. So right now, let's talk about the current affairs. Hmm? This, this market, we are in the year of 2023, not so. This is the pre. We are in the pre bull run. Okay? If we are in the pre bull run, that means we are preparing for the next big movement of the coins we have another full year it's going to be sweet we will have another year which will be supercharged make sure between these three years you don't stay the same this year is only remaining with three months okay we should hustle and look for capital are we getting the point friends so my main point the introduction of this training was that don't say for this look for capital friends we are having good news in the coming days. Okay? I, I think I think the world, I think the universe is on our side as the crypto world, as the crypto community. Do you know why? Today we are having, we are having, we are having, um, uh, how can I call them? We are having economic wars between superpowers. The US is fighting with China. Today we are having BRICS. I think you're following, you must follow those things because they determine the market. The BRICS, Brazil, Russia, India, and China, and South Africa. That block. That block, one day, they are like, we are going to launch our own currency. We are going to go off the dollar. So people are panicking. Should I leave my money in the dollar? It might drop. Maybe I should buy Bitcoin. <laughs> or maybe I buy gold. So if people panic and they and they drop their dollars and they buy Bitcoin, it's on our side. You get the point. That's why I'm saying the universe is on our side as the crypto world. People are going to invest more in this business. I'm going to invest more. Hence, leading to the bull run. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, let's go to our Royal Q robots. Let's go to our Royal Q Robot. Uh -huh. So today, um, uh, uh, this application you are seeing here, um, it has a lot of futures. Okay? It has a lot of futures. Our first day, we looked at uh, how, how the market, uh, how the robot, uh, it was an orientation. We looked at all, all the icons of this robot. Yesterday, we are learning trade settings, okay? Yesterday, we are learning trade settings, okay? So today, we are going to look into another topic. Mm -hmm. Now, I want you to look here. I want you to look here. Today, I want to teach you something. Today, we are going to look at what we call BTC trades, okay? BTC trades. Since I've told you about uh, uh, about the, the 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 bull market or the bull run, and you have understood it today, we are going to talk about Bitcoin. Okay, today we're going to talk about Bitcoin.
Excuse me, sir. We can't hear you. You're not hearing me. It's okay now. Hello, hello, hello. Someone Lida, your volume is very low. Do you hear me now? The volume is very low. Yeah. I think these people are not hearing me. But Oh, no volume at Okay. Let me see what to do here. That's better. That's better. The volume is better. Connections. The volume is back, eh? Let me share my screen. Uh, let me screen now. Now, I want you to look here. Mm -hmm. Today, today, please, you can mute yourself. Thank you. So, I was saying that today we are going to look what we call the BTC trades. Okay. BTC trades. You know, I started my introduction because I want you to understand what is a bull. I don't want you to panic. I don't want you to rush. You know, I have found it that people, when they come into our business here, they break all the universal rules of earnings and business. First, they want to earn a lot with the less capital. That applies nowhere in the other business. Second, they want profits every day, no matter what happens in the market. That happens nowhere in other markets, in other businesses, and very many other ways. It is only in Rio Q where someone is trading with only hundred dollars and they want twenty dollars every day. So please don't do that to yourself. You will quit the business. I'm pretty sure. I will guarantee you. You will quit this business with such mindsets. You will quit this business. You will hate it. You, you will punch everyone who talks about crypto out there, but it is because you came with the wrong mindset. If you want to win here, come with a business model mindset. How do business people think? They think long term. Mm -hmm. Before you think about earning a lot of money, before you thinking about investing a lot of money into this business, just learn it. No rich person can invest in poultry before they know it. Never, yes. ever. They can't do that. Someone just can't just come from, from, from trading and then they go to poultry out of the blue. They must first learn it. Someone joins Royal Q, they want to make crazy money, but they don't know what to do. Okay, now let's focus. I'm going to talk about BTC trades. Royal Q has three types of trades. It has Ethereum, BTC, and USDT. Are you seeing them? However, most of us, we are trading USDT. Do you know why? It is because it's a universal currency, which we understand. That's why every coin, its price is put in dollars here. Because this is what we understand. Uh -huh. We understand USD, US dollars, very fast, more than any other currency. But I'm going to show you uh, uh, another option. Uh, of course, we are going to, you can do them both very well. Because BTC pairs are few on RQ, but I want to show you the importance of these pairs. Hmm? What is Bitcoin? Bitcoin is the largest cryptocurrency in the world. When we go to our Binance, when we go to our Binance, okay, and we tap 
tap markets, mm -hmm. when we tap markets, they are going to bring, I think my network is bad. Hope you can see this. Uh, I want to tap Bitcoin. Okay. When you tap Bitcoin on your Binance, in most cases, this is the coin which has the biggest value in a day. Today, people have traded this coin with $870 million. Okay. Second, when you go down here and tap information, it is the coin with the highest market cap. This is what we call the market cap. Uh, market cap is this, okay? The market cap, Bitcoin has $522.56 billion. People have invested that money. This is the coin with the most money, okay? And people believe in the next bull run, it might hit $2 trillion. $2 trillion, just imagine. Okay? So that means this is the biggest coin with the biggest money, and most of the, the rich people keep their money in Bitcoin because it is the only crypto they they trust. All of us, we, we, we believe Bitcoin, it cannot crash easily like other coins do, okay? Bitcoin cannot crash. So that's why people trust it. People trust Bitcoin. They put their money there, okay? Now, there is what you call holding. You can decide that. Let me hold my bit. Let me hold Bitcoin. Right now it is at twenty six thousand, but it might reach a hundred thousand maybe next year. Okay, so if it reaches a hundred thousand, that means it has done almost three hundred percent. Uh huh. So if I have my capital, my trading capital, or for example. Um, let me use an example of $2,000, my trading capital of $2,000. And I decided that I'm going to trade in Bitcoin. Okay. And I decided that I'm going to trade in Bitcoin pairs. I'm going to explain this thing so that it is understandable very well. So what do I do? I go on my Binance and I convert my, my $2,000 into bitcoins. Are you getting the point? Into bitcoins. After doing that, then, okay, then, for example, 2000 uh, divided by, do I do divide or times? Uh, divided by, let me see the price, 26,700. 6,739. So that means I get 0 0.07. 24 bitcoins okay so with the two thousand dollars you get 0 0.074 bitcoins now this is the quantity i want you to understand these things quantity the quantity of bitcoin you get with the money you have bought it with currently so if if I have $2,000 as my capital, the moment I convert it into Bitcoins, these are the Bitcoins I'm going to get on my wallet, on Binance. Now, how do I use this? How do I use these Bitcoins to trade with on my Royoki robot? Look here. So this is my robot. So I tap BTC. BTC pairs, there are only six pairs. Link, XRP, Ethereum, BNB, ADA, and LTC. Mm -hmm. So there are six C pairs. You get the point? There are six pairs. Uh -huh. So you can decide that I have $2,000. Maybe let me make settings for two coins at a go. I'll be trading two coins at a, at a go. You get my point? So... Remember, we have 0 0.074 
dollar 0.074 bitcoins on our binance so what i do i divide by 2 it's like you have divided your 2000 dollars by 2 so now you are getting 1000 1000 i don't know whether i'm teach what i'm teaching is understandable but you understand it it, it is very profitable understand it it's very profitable how because if bitcoin goes up your capital will go up remember the dollars we are using for trading it doesn't change if you have one thousand dollars it will sell one thousand dollars even if you had a trade and it had your one thousand dollars and it was one in one shot and it sold and it gave you ten dollars as profits now you are having one thousand ten dollars as your capital So now we are having, I was saying that if, if you had $1,000 and your trade was, was in one shot and it sold, when it sells, eh? when it sells, you are going to stay with only that money, even if you are offline for a full week and you are no longer trading with any other trades. Okay? Now, but if I if my capital was in Bitcoin and Bitcoin goes up, do you know what's going to happen? My capital will grow. For example, right now Bitcoin is at twenty six thousand. Let's assume tomorrow it goes back to thirty thousand. That means my capital has grown before I even trade. However, if Bitcoin goes down. Even your capital will go down, <laughs> but don't worry. You still are. You are still holding the quantity. You are still holding the the quantity. Oh, Charina, how can I make this so understandable? Let's assume you open up a shop. You are selling phones, and um, you decide that for me, I sell my phones in gold. To buy my phone, you give me gold. And that's your principle. Is gold understandable? Let me use dollars. Hey, let me use dollars. You are in Uganda. And you're sure you are selling phones, but you are using dollars. When people are paying, they are paying, they are paying. When the dollar rate goes high, do you know what happens? Your prices of phones go up, up automatically. But this is, you, you must remember this. If the dollar rate goes down, even your phones will go down. In case... Your prices are fixed. You get the point. That's why these guys are so clever. The landlords of Kampala buildings, they are so clever. Most of these guys, they accept rent in dollars. They're like, my, my room is $2,000. 2000 But you realize that the money you paid the last month is not equivalent to the money you are paying this month. The money you're paying this month won't be the same. The money you'll pay in January when the dollar rate is high. So these guys are making a lot of money. Why? You find that if the, the, the room, you were paying 7 million shillings, in January next year, you are paying it 8.5. Because for him, he wants his money in dollars. Same concept here. You are trading, but you are using Bitcoin. When Bitcoin goes up, even your capital grows. But if Bitcoin goes down, even your capital will go down. But it's okay. You are holding, right? We are losing nothing. We want to lose our money. We are going in the bull run. Now understand this thing. So if if um now I've divided this money to two, so that means now I'm trading with one thousand, one thousand. So if we are going to do settings for only one thousand dollar, okay, equivalent of Bitcoin. So now this is zero point zero thirty seven. So this is equivalent to one thousand dollars. Now these are Bitcoins category case. Now remember our trade settings yesterday we said we said that with one thousand dollars you can decide to do 20 margin calls okay to do 20 margin calls with one thousand dollars um 
So 1,000 divided by 20, uh, 1,000 divided by 20, how, what, what do you get? You get 50, right? You get 50, not so? Or you can be like, uh, with my $1,000, let me have 30 margin calls. So you divide it by 30 margin calls. So we are going to divide by 30 margin calls. So that means the first buying amount is 0 0.0012. Now we come on our robot. I'm confusing people here. <laughs> For example, you are trading link. You put your, okay, you, you come to mine. You tap my strategy settings. After tapping my strategy settings, you tap the plus in the corner. Okay? The plus in the corner. So the first buying amount is 0. Point, uh, it was 0. Point zero. What's that? 0. Point zero, 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 0. Have you seen it? Uh -huh. Then um, margin calls are 30. Here we said 0. 0.1. Here we said 0. 0.1. Uh, Here we said 0. 0.01. So margin configuration, you give it your margin configurations we talked about, for example. You can say one one times, and the whole of them, they cover 30%. But we can say one one times, one, 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 uh, one times, one time, uh, no, one percent. These are the percentages, rather. One percent, one percent, one percent, uh, up to 10, yeah? So from 11, you say 1.5 percent, 1.5, or you can be one one times the first 20 margin calls, they are all one one percent, one percent, one percent, one percent. These are percentages of drops. Mm -hmm. Aha, now from the 21st margin call, you can be like, you give it 2 percent, 2 percent, 2, 2 percent, 2 percent, 2 percent, 2 percent, 2 percent, 2 percent. 2%. Now, the times, the times is one one time. One one time. Why one one time? One time is the first buying amount. Do you remember the first buying amount we calculated? Eh? By the way, this, this type of trading is very profitable, friends, to make for you good money in case you learn how to use it. So for the people who would love to hold Bitcoin, hold it like this way. You are using that Bitcoin for trading and you are making profits and you are staying with your Bitcoin. It's going nowhere. Okay? Then you tap one shot here and you can name it BTC Trades. Ah, then you save. So when you save, your BTC trades are there. So the moment you come here on your at your home and you are like, I'm I'm trading link, but you must make sure you have Bitcoin on your Binance Spot wallet, not dollars. You remember my training when I was starting? So you tap create, tap Martin your strategy, tap create again, you tap next here. You tap trade settings, then you tap manual create. You know that you know that procedure, right? Mm -hmm. You tap manual create. You see, even the robot has default settings for BTC. So just tap here, then you tap. Mm. By the way, there's something I realized. These days, when you are putting your own settings, the moment you tap them, the robot doesn't change the first buying amount. So you do it manually, okay? Do it manually so that you don't make mistakes. It is 0.00 below. Okay? So 
you tap save and confirm. When you tap save and confirm, strategy mode, real time, sub in real time settlement. Make sure the AI margin call button is off. Eh? Then you tap start. Then you tap create. If you have Bitcoins on your Binance, it will buy right away. But you know what's happening? Your robot is using Bitcoin to buy link. If it sells link, it sells this back in Bitcoin, but with profits. But this is what happens. You are getting more quantity of Bitcoins. You get the point? Because the profits are coming back in Bitcoin. Me, I don't know whether this is understandable. Oh, watching your end, yeah. When you when when your robot sells, now it has bought. When it sell at a profit of one point three, remember it has been buying with the Bitcoin. So when it sells back, they are going to give it more Bitcoins. It's like, like I'm selling my phones in dollars. I'm buying and sell them in dollars. So when I I use my dollars to buy phones. That means the customer I'm going to sell to is going to give me extra dollars as a profit. For example, I bought a, a phone at, at $200 and I'm selling it at $250. This $50 is my profit. But it is in dollars, not shillings. So that means the capital I had, for example, it was my $1,000. Now is extra $50. So if your Bitcoins were 0.0, .0 what was the initial price? <laughs> I forgot it. Eh? 0 0.037. That was the quantity. Was it so? I think it was 0 0.07, 0 point, 0 0.07 something. 0 0.07. Eh? It was our initial capital. That means whenever my robot buys and sells, it is increasing my Bitcoins. Do you know what's going to happen? The more Bitcoin goes up, your capital will go up. You find someone who had $2,000, but in their trades, they have made, for example, $300 as capital profits, but their capital is $3,050. $3,500. I don't know whether it is understandable. Do you know why? The benefits of these trades is one, is, is two. First, you are making Profits, second, your capital is accumulating, automatic. And I would advise if any one of you is serious in trading, adapt to this kind of trading. You are going to make crazy money. You are going to make crazy money. The bull run won't treat you bad at all. And let me warn you, if Bitcoin goes down, because Bitcoin might retrace back to 20,000, don't panic. I hate people who panic in business. You started the business, you invested in it, and you are panicking. What are you panicking? Someone is just one month, two months, five months in the business, and they are panicking. They are panicking. My capital, my capital. Let me tell you something. People start traditional businesses. You open up a hardware, a supermarket with 30 millions. You have to do that business for two years, not expecting any profit. Did you know that? Or you don't? In traditional businesses, you do it for two years, expecting no profit. The moment the two years hit and your business is still standing, you are like, now my business is so solid because I've got the customer base. It is now self-sufficient. It can pay its bills. It can pay the workers. I'm not getting profits, and I'm okay with that. But my business is independent. It is stable now. Then you can invest in more. But here in Royal Q, oh, my goodness. Someone invests only $1,000. They, they do it for just three weeks. The market crashes one weekend. They're in negative 20. Then they're like, hey, I'm seeing only $800 on Binance. What's wrong? I'm withdrawing my money. <laughs> I'm like, what's wrong with these people? I think we need to, 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 to maybe to recruit business people more, more than employees. Guys, if you want to grow rich, you must adapt business mindsets. Because they are, a business mindset is a winner.
You must be patient. Be patient and be ready to learn. Because that's the real world, wherever you are going. Mm -hmm. The good thing with crypto, it gives profits. Crazy profits. The way we are making money here, if you sit down a traditional businessman, he will slap you. Because it never applies in their world. There's no way you can tell someone that you start with $1,000 and in a month, you make 20%. They will slap you for nothing. They're like, what are you doing? You a scammer, you man. Because it's never there. But here in Royal Q in crypto, it's very, very possible. With your 1,000, you can make $300 in a month. You can even make 100% of it. Some days the market is crazy. You enter the coin. Haven't you seen coins which go up 50%? Last three days back, what did World Coin do? One coin, what did it do? It went almost 25% plus. So if someone had joined it, had, in, had bought that coin earlier with margin calls, what was the take profit? You get the point. It only happens in crypto. But please, still stay with a business mindset. You are going to be a winner. The moment you rush with things, you are, you are panicking, you are not in classes. You do a lot of mistakes, and we leaders will give you to do those mistakes because the truth is we learn with the mistakes. You know, when we were still at school, they were punishing us, punishing us for making mistakes. So we are in a kind of we are in a kind of calling me. They are disrupting my zone. Uh, let me hold my microphone. It's still on. I was saying that we are we are in an environment whereby making a mistake is not acceptable because it is what we are trained at school. You make a mistake, you are punished. You make a mistake, you are punished. But the okay, we learn by making mistakes. When you make a mistake. You learn. When you don't make mistakes, you don't learn. I have a friend. He joined the business. He entered a trade with $4,000. A trade went down 10%. The robot was buying margin calls, buying margin calls. It hit 20% negative. I want you to imagine you are having $4,000. <laughs> Let me do it. Let me put it here on, 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 on the calculator. You are... $4,000, eh? And you are losing $800. So someone was seeing you floating loss. Floating loss. <laughs> of $800. I'm like, what? What's this? The market went down 30%. The guy was like, ah. I'm getting out. I told him, don't do that. This is what happens in the market. Your robot is still buying margin calls. Leave it to buy. It is buying low. He denied. He sold the, the coin at loss. And the robot has this button. Let me show it to you here. You see that sell button? <laughs> that sell button is, is a manual button. If you want to sale at loss that's where you tap the robot doesn't do that it is you who's do who does that and after selling it will give you a transaction record saying manual sale it will say manual transaction you did that manually it didn't do it the, robot, the guy sold the coin at loss he made a lot of loss by the way almost a quarter of his money and you know what's up in four days the coin went back up, back. I remember that coin, it was covered. It went up. It hit our average price. The price we bought it, it went up more. 25% up. The guy touched on his head. You know, we Africans, when, when we... <laughs> When we are in trouble, we touch it.
Aids. He touched me with AIDS like this. I like, Usama, what did I do? I like, I told you. You know, someone with withdraws money and they're not taking it anywhere. They are putting it in the bank. But what they did, what they had to, so what I'm teaching my dear friends on this Zoom, never panic in the market. Panicking is a loss. Unless that this coin is going to be delisted, okay? Unless they have told you that this coin is going to be delisted. That's when you 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 can uh, uh, you, you can you can you can sell at loss, but if not that if it's not the case, never do it. You will regret. So friends, this is what I wanted us to learn. When you do such a trade, it's going to be more profitable. It's going to, to double your capital. It's going to. However, on Reiki we have few trades of BTC. They are only six, okay. And if you have good money, I would advise you. You can put those trades in cycle if you have money because those two trades move very well look at bnb bnb never goes it never goes so high and never goes so down so it's like they are there when you look at everyday movements you look at the way it moves that means you're making one percent there bnb stock btc so that means these trades are stable these trades are stable they can make for you good profits and you enjoy the market. Mm -hmm. You can enjoy the market when your capital is accumulating. Because when you are selling, you are selling in Bitcoin. Letting your capital is growing and you are making profits. What a wonderful trade. Thank you so much for learning today. Unless someone has a question. Um, Okay, let me get back to you here. Now, Zoom. Uh, do we have people with questions? Please let me understand how we get the first line amount, sir. Mm, you forgot. Okay, my, uh, my our friend Bani Niger is asking, how do we get the first buying amount? How do we get the first buying? Let me repeat that procedure. I wish you could write for me your trading capital, for example. Uh, are you still on the Zoom, Niger? You, you, can you write for me your trading capital there? I want to do, yes, you to, how much is it? How much is it? For example, 2,500. Uh -huh. For example, if you have $2,500, you can be like, let me divide this money into three. And I trade three coins. For example, or two. Let's do divide by two. Okay? But before you divide, we have 2500 So we are going to change this money into Bitcoin. Remember, when you are going into BTC trades, your capital must be in Bitcoin on Binance, not in dollars, not in USDT. So you convert it in, in USDT. So right now, BTC is at, for example, 26,600. So that means that's your initial capital by NAS in Bitcoin. Eh? That is Bitcoin now. Now you are no longer having USDT, you are having Bitcoin of 0 0.09 to 3 Bitcoins. Okay? However, this money is equivalent to $2,500. Now, remember our capital, we want to, now we are going to do trade settings. Now what we do, we are going to divide our capital into two. You want to use your capital to trade two coins, for example. Even if you want four, even if you want five, and you're like, I'm going to do settings for $500 for each coin. Yeah? It will depend on what you want. Let's assume by two. So you divide by two. This is the answer you get. So that means this is, equivalent to to 1250 not so so that is 0 0.046 or 0 0.47 now how do you get the first buying amount now with my 1000 
250, I can be like, let me make 40 margin calls. Margin calls. Now we have got our capital. Yesterday's formula was, when you get your capital, the capital you have, you want to do trade settings, divide it into the number of margin calls you want. Now we are going to do 40 margin calls. So you divide by 40 margin calls. Now this is the first buying amount. Have you seen the answer? That answer is the first buying amount. And when you get to the first buying amount, make the, the times in the margin configurations. The times must be one, one times. They're, they're using the same, uh, the same what? The same first buying amount to buy. Then you do the margin drops, the percentages. Remember, the percentage must not be less than 35%. Actually, do 40 to 50 and above. MRD has settings of 150%. <laughs> Those settings are for cycle. 150. If you have good capital, go for those settings. They are so good. Okay? So here, as you are doing your own Fed settings, I advise don't do less than 50, 35% rather. Do 35, 40, 50% at least. Okay? So that's how we get the first buying amount. This is Bitcoin, yeah? See dollars in it. Eh? Because if we get this times 26, that is 30 dollars. This is the price of Bitcoin. So that means every drop the robot is, by, is using 30 dollars, equivalent of Bitcoin. Have I answered you, my, my, my friend? I don't know whether Nigel is a woman or a man. Mm, okay. Anyone with a question? Today's topic was um, different. So I will accept questions. I know people are still wondering what is this for sure. This type of trading is so good. Uh, for people who want to, 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 for people who would love to, Bernard, it's the same thing. Even if 200, you just do it. Eh? Same thing, I've given you the formula. Get 200, change it into Bitcoin. The amount of Bitcoins you get, come on your calculator, divide it into margin calls. So with the $200, you can do, for example, 10 margin calls. Okay? You can do 10 margin calls when on each margin call, the robot is buying with $20. $20 equivalent to Bitcoins. Are you getting it, Bernard? Eh? So just get the formula. Formula just. The capital divided into margin calls. The answer you get is the first buying amount. That answer you get is the first buying amount. When you are, when you are organizing your market configurations, the times should be one one times. Okay? The times should be one one times then the margins you, you, you do according to the percentage. So if you're having only 10 margin calls, you can do 33%. That is 30%. Or 3.5%. That is 300. That is 35%. There is a lot of calculations by the way there. Uh, okay, Bernard, you're very welcome. Uh, I would love to thank you so much for, for attending this Zoom. We'll keep learning every single day you never know until we reach our our goals so our today's zoom has been one hour and a half thank you so much for following friends uh I'll, i'm going to tell you something that see you at the top because i know where we go guys prepare your capital look for money grow your capital okay the business is going to become more sweet the more, the higher we go, the sweeter we are going to become, okay? The market is becoming bullish. Prepare capital. Look for money. Okay? Don't settle for less. Don't trade with little money. Okay? Don't be with your little money and be contented. Look for capital. Look for other people who are trading with you. People are so selfish in Royal They are trading alone. With your own business. Introduce other people. 
new team for them they might have good capital than you it benefits you you get the point hey you are having 200 dollars but someone is in your list you can trade with 50000 dollars but you fear to tell them over here ogama this guy is rich the guy is rich but he's keeping money in the bank because he fears to start business that's why people are buying brand new a friend of yours has bought it now where should i put my 100m if i start up a business i put a worker there they will kill my business let me drive my money <laughs> but if you show them a robot that hey put your money on binance buy this robot is going to use it for money they're like i sure they will invest they will invest someone who buys a bmw x6 They are, they, they are having another come pretty sure they are fast taker. So let's share our business for other people. Stay at the top. Thank you for attending. Amina, you're very welcome. Samu alaikum. Amina, thank you so much for following. Have a great day. Have a great day, people. This Zoom is going to be recorded on our YouTube. See you at the top.